good morning my dear second year students uh, i am making video on tally assignment this is the only one assignment which you have to complete so forget about the marks and then assignment but my dear students just believe me you will going to learn so much in this video this video is covering the inventory related part plus this is the revision of your accounting related part as well in the last year you must have learned the accounting concepts accounting entries and all vouchers we will say and in this year in your syllabus you have inventory related concepts and vouchers but in this assignment you will find both that means revision of accounting and learning of what inventory in the real life after completing graduation after doing some extra courses you would find yourself as an accountant or the owner of a business let's assume that the you are owner of a particular shop you are working in the reseller or you could be working in the wholesaler shop or in the manufacturing company or in a sunday service industry okay a service uh, giving company the accounting of all is similar some mm, due to law some difference you will find because we have to follow rules and regulation uh, but uh, more than 80 percent part is same therefore by learning this or by solving this assignment you could crack assistant accountant interview i'm not saying manager or executive interview i'm saying assistant you could become assistant and in the next year again we will focus on the payroll and then taxation part by learning that you could become head accountant head see how nice our syllabus is you don't take in other way just focus i will try to make a short video but i know this is not possible because so many things we have to cover and if i fast forwarded it then you will not understand correct now let me clarify each and every concept in depth i have already clarified i have taken more than two lectures in your regular classroom but we know some students are more busy than our prime minister and they do not get time to come here so for them i'm recording and for all i'm recording actually okay now let's move ahead to our real screen okay uh in this computer you'll find the assignment question this is there in the teaching in teaching in a corporate accounting and in an assignment section directly you'll get i have already posted the link of your assignment on a telegram channel you can join you you must be there okay if not then just join the telegram channel and there you'll get your customized assignment now semester 4 and here revised files let's see in our class we have more than 550 here our assignments of 586 students every students have their own customized file correct that means you cannot solve your friend's assignment you cannot copy the data of your friend the conceptual clarity you will get from your friend you can get from your friend or from your teacher as well but remember that you only have to solve your own assignment understood yes then moving ahead we'll take only this first student okay this is akanksha i think so i will try to solve this assignment correct now let me clarify first what is this assignment is all about or uh, what types of questions are there in this assignment okay, my dear students let's see here uh, in all how many entries do we have here in all we have 32 entries okay in real life always we will not get the transactions no one will feed you food with the spoon you have to prepare for your own meal correct actual life is very difficult in college you can enjoy because here we are giving the food with the spoon to you you can directly eat no need to chew also 
we are chewing and giving hey, that is a different story but my dear students in actual life you will not get the transaction directly correct here let's check the 15th transaction uh, to support 15th one i have given you the purchase order now read the document and interpret it who has given this document to whom for us this is what now purchase order is written but this is given now check the name of a company who has given or name of the organization who has given this purchase order to us this is given by sp college to this akanksha you are the akanksha correct and that means you are the proprietor of the akanksha uh, firm we'll say akanksha uh, shop correct that means sp college given in this whole assignment we have kept the theme of reseller come manufacturer let's assume now from onwards this onwards that you are what the reseller of stationery uh, in front of our college gate you will find some stationery shop what that shop is doing that shop is selling the notebooks pens then books etc and plus they are taking orders also printing orders also suppose if we require uh, answer sheets or if you require let's say question papers we do not print from that place otherwise we will approach that place and then ask that place we want question paper of sp college second year okay this is not the case uh, but we also purchase from them the omr sheets we already purchased in the last year we had taken omr exam and uh, to complete the formality for you we have already purchased the omr that means what that shop is doing selling notebooks as well as providing printing services uh, after printing that uh, shop is selling printing jobs correct um, understood you are working in that shop as a accountant now if you are working and uh, uh, you have got the order correct the purchase order and then after that to fulfill that order you must purchase some raw material this is the order given by you to you this is your organization name you see the your organization name and you have given this to which vendor ruby limited that means to ruby, ruby paper limited who is selling the paper okay now uh, the a4 size plain paper order you have given then after that uh, you got the goods and then after getting you are entering that bill in and then some mm, paper you are rejected and then rejection note and you have debited the rubies account and then after uh, debiting you have paid to ruby as well immediately and you got the discount yes this is and then after that you produce goods in italy you will find manufacturing journal with the help of that bill of material and by giving information of bill of material and all you have what produced the goods uh, that printing job then after that uh, in between emi and all let me first clarify inventory related things then you you dispatch goods to uh, uh, your customer yes sp college and then uh, you raise the bill also and then that organization sp college paid you the due amount within time okay this is all about the inventory related transaction and to revise your accounting part i have given you opening balances means accounting opening balances inventory opening balances also i have given here and then after that generally this is inventory purchase and sale transaction you know correct and just a plain transaction uh, as a reseller you are purchasing the notebooks and again to students you are selling same notebooks without converting it just purchase and sell correct now finished product and then uh, to print the omr sheets we require printing press that means machinery we have purchased then machinery before that to set up the business you also introduce some cash in the business correct then then my dear students uh, you have purchased furniture as well correct this is the asset purchase entry you know what to debit what to credit correct 
I will explain while passing entry. Then uh, you have open account also. Then uh, a check given to A Limited. Uh, you have purchased what machinery and furniture, and then you have given check of machinery and furniture to A Limited. Then, my dear students, you paid the T bill. This is a regular. Uh, let it be any organization. In that organization, what will find? purchase and sale obvious you will find there is then payment of salary you will find then some expenses payments then some staff welfare expenses then electricity telephone and then repair and maintenance yes these transactions generally you will find in any order therefore i have tried to cover it all and then as a students you must know how to pass closing entries as well this electricity bill you must able to make the provision for electricity if you do not get the bill of march then that doesn't mean you do not require to pass March entry. March is in your financial year. If bill is not there, you cannot say bill is not there, therefore I have to pass the entry. You have to pass. Then make the provision. How to pass entry? By making provision. Here also same. The bill, uh, we are doing quarterly accounting and our target is to calculate the quarterly profit. In this quarter, uh, I think so, the May month's bill is not received. There were tentative uh, 500 we paid to electricity board and then we will also going to make the provision for 500. We are not sure about the amount therefore just we paid 500 and we will provide 500. That means by solving this yes 10th question you will come to know how to make the provision in books of accounts. Then uh, free sample, free sample entry that means what this is advertisement only you have given goods as what? Uh, as advertisement you can mm, give advertisement on in newspaper on tv and etc directly we pay there and then second way of advertising is what giving goods to customer correct here we have given goods how to pass this entry you must know will pass entry then after that we have taken loan yes loan in any business you will find loan now, these are very much important while giving interview they ask you about EMI entry correct loan taking entry then you will find bank charges how to do accounting here you will learn then EMI payment entry in EMI you will find two important parts interest part and installment part how to do recording of interest and then that will learn here then in a temporary problem then investment related if you have extra cash yes no need to ca uh, keep that extra cash in current or in your cash box yes, just invest that somewhere so many options of investment you will find but here we will take most popular option that is fixed deposit if you invest your cash in fixed deposit then how to record that transaction and then how to record interest as well on that fd we'll see here then then here uh, i already clarified then what this emi debit note entry you know this accounting entry we'll see part of inventory cycle but in accounting also Mm, you must have learned this if not we will learn here then then my dear students emi again emi monthly payment huh? therefore uh, more than one entry here we will find in our quarter then uh, we paid advance tax yes how to record where to record under which group we must record that we'll see then uh, what uh, we clear the dues of no, SP college clear the dues that means we got the payment from SP college by way of a check and we deposited that uh, what entry to pass that we'll see then company paid diesel bill yes diesel bill we cannot say diesel account to cash yes, diesel means what related to transportation yes you must know the grouping I want to check your grouping knowledge therefore here I have given you uh, entry related to the diesel is yes, on 34 7 and then 5000 in cash we paid then company received two months interest is interest on fd interest received on fd then my dear students here we have entry related to insurance while working you will find insurance payment as well correct we pay insurance for what for uh, fire that means for our safeguarding our building for safeguarding our machinery then loss by theft and then pilferage insurance all the types of so many types of insurance now major two types you will find insurance related to business and insurance related to your own personal life here from business 
because agent is same you have paid the premium of machinery and other asset this is the first part and second part you paid the premium of uh, premium to the LIC life insurance for say we had your life the two separate parts are there first one is related to business therefore we will record that insurance premium as expenses and then second part uh, related to your life therefore we will assume that as a personal expenses and we will record that as a drawing in books of accounts then uh, depreciation also quarterly depreciation it is important and then here also if you are clever so you will understand that insurance premium paid on 1st July we pay generally insurance for a year now uh, you can check your father's LIC receipt or if your business then there the premium on building you can check always generally we pay insurance for a year uh, here also assume that we have paid for a year we paid on 17 that means you will get insurance benefit from 1722 to 1723 that means you will get 30 june 2030 till midnight 12 o'clock correct now this much uh, one year benefits you will get but your financial year starts on 14 and ends on 31st you must record expenses related to this period only that means from 15 to 17 we have paid money in advance to insurance company this is prepaid insurance you must book that prepaid also in books of otherwise you will get wrong profitability and then obviously i am there to reduce your marks i generally do not like to reduce but if you make mistake here then definitely computer will reduce yes, because this is checked by computer only and then uh, depreciation depreciation what about on wo what machinery and furniture they are asking us to provide depreciation income tax rate is also given income tax 25 percent on machinery and 15 percent on depreciation and they are saying us to provide quarterly depreciation income tax rate means what income tax doesn't give you quarterly rates they give you what Mm, annual rates 25 percent per annum therefore for a quarter how much first calculate for a year and then just divide it by four you will get quarterly and then pass the entry of a depreciation directly don't write their annual amount otherwise you will get wrong then last transaction in business you always you will find repair and maintenance uh, everything is perishable let it be what steel let it be stone let it be any appliances machinery and all everything is perishable therefore you must provide for that perishability wear and tear uh, in form of depreciation and you must provide for upkeeping of that in form of a repair and maintenance correct now uh, then here uh, i have given you particulars related to contract of repair and maintenance now fixed charges somewhat 2000 uh, per month you will find and then uh, more for more than five calls in a month 500 per call total 18 calls you made till june 22 in a quarter and then uh, make a quarterly provision entry we haven't yet paid but because this is related to quarter we have to provide in books of accounts calculation uh, this is a simple maths do the calculation and pass provision entry provision how to pass provision that we have already seen while passing electricity bill provision entry now what we will do ok now moving ahead uh, I think so uh, what assignment is all about that must be clarified now actually we will solve that assignment with the help of tally software you cannot solve this assignment with the help of your mobile correct now in mobile uh, you will not get the tally correct the full word tally that means every feature you will not find in mobile therefore download tally in your computer in your pc laptop if you don't have that then you can use our college computer lab correct how to download from where you will get very simple you will get that from tallysolutions.com 
and then after downloading install how to install you know just click and you must have learned in the last year why to waste our time just i have already downloaded that just click on tally prime and then you will get that on your screen okay uh, you could get screen like this huh? because i already installed and created company therefore i got directly the created company on the first screen of my software but you will get screen like this if you are not getting screen like this then press f3 you will get company creation alteration and selection screen what they are saying no need to do everything in one shot correct now you can take pause in between pass five entries then go here and there drink some eat something and then again start i think so uh, you will require two to three hours just to complete this assignment believe me you will learn so many things and what is the bonus point you can crack any assistant interview and this much only uh, you will find an actual practice instead of well, what in our regular classes we have uh, spent invested so much time in learning what uh, not unnecessary but you know what i want to convey now this is the assignment in this assignment just read the create company with your full name and member id same as written in above heading now you have to create with this name only just copy okay and then after copying here say create company i want to create a company therefore select create company option now create company now cursor is there just check on my screen i have main screen as well in front of me on that uh, company name is written and then cursor is blinking in front of company name just control v copy and paste you know copy control c paste control v yes in tally erp9 if you are working then there press control alt v in tally prime just control v to paste it and then after this mailing name you know no need address just type your address you will not get that in question you know your address correct but no need to tell uh, no need to write full address just write pune correct if you are in pune write pune if you are in other city you are most welcome to write that and then here state write state clearly correctly why you know and then here my pin code is oh, write that mobile number email id and all no need to write if you write you know what will happen no need i will not explain your last year syllabus okay this is important everything you will get on bill if you want bill legal bill invoice tax invoice then in, on a tax invoice there must be the uh, contact details that is email id website of a company and all then your full address correct there in actual practice you can skip but here you are just giving the assignment you can skip because you have so many other tasks to complete yes uh, exam is also i think so starting from 15th april okay just accept on every screen you will get this question whether to accept or not if everything is correct just check after getting this question just overlook uh, if uh, all the things are correct then you can say accept to accept it we have so many ways just click on s or enter button or y button just enter is simple uh, enter and then no need to change other options no need to change why because uh, we are not here dealing with the taxation part and then cost center part etc therefore enter 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 if you are bored with enter then you can press ctrl a to accept the screen here i have created the akanksha vidhates company successfully understood this is how you can create a company after creating company what they are saying no need to be too much serious what uh, 
uh, what they are saying they are saying us to what create inventory atoms these inventory atoms then let me create these inventory atoms yes uh, the first inventory now these this is what your opening inventory in last year you must have started your business but we are not just carrying that company we are here creating a new company therefore you must write previous years closing balances as opening balances in this year you can continue that but in here we are assuming that uh, what a new company and new company opened and therefore you must here to create inventory items opening inventory items then copy and then create now first group you will find of master then of transactions then banking reports etc correct uh, master related <coughs> that means things which are common for every transactions for all transactions and those things we create in master part <coughs> and then day to day uh, entries we pass here in the voucher in transaction part correct and you can check that day to day part here in book, day book whatever you have passed that you will get in day book and then extra features like utility banking check printing online payments here and then reports hmm. the very famous report uh, and then if you want more reports you will we'll get the more report so many reports we will find entirely now we are interested in creating inventory atoms okay. we will create the inventory atom uh, just copy the name from and then say create and then what you want to create you want to create stock atom therefore select stock atom control V and then here under what they are asking if you want you can create because you are a reseller come manufacturer therefore you can divide your inventory into three parts raw material related stock items work in progress related stock items and finished goods related stock items mm. to make it simple i will keep that primary as it is if you want you can classify why to create confusion in a regular class i have shown you how to create and create creation part is very simple just control c uh, you will get uh, group creation wherever is cursor your cursor is if you press alt c tally will create that part <coughs> that means your cursor is blinking in front of under that means uh, group if you press here alt c tally will create group if your cursor is here units and if you press alt c tally will create units correct now we will keep that primary as it is and then here units now check the unit of this sundaram notebooks 200 pages these are in numbers that means our unit is numbers do we have that numbers no we don't have no and just uh, just now we have created there is no question of having numbers therefore just say control c uh, alt c or uh, select that create with uh, what we can say upper arrow <coughs> and then enter button and symbol nos we can say formal name number and then here also numbers correct and the unit quantity code this is used in gst very useful for taxation part okay, but just select you know number number and then after that decimal places we do not purchase book in decimals half book then one third book like not possible therefore decimal no decimal places zero decimal places and then whether to accept everything is correct accept it accept enter 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 no need to provide statutory because in next year we will provide that rate and then here how many books 200 let's say here 200 rate 25 25 and then value automatically you will get simple in between we will take break also i will tell you jokes also don't worry but first complete first question for uh, and then accept it and then after that the second inventory item omr answer sheets just copy omr answer sheets now you can create uh, no need to explain name and this is also in number just n again do not create number because we have number unit 
and then set the components of you will not get this uh, because I have done the setting of set the component but we require this setting uh, I will show from where you will get once we get the bill of material related transaction right now don't you will not get this in your company to get it uh, f12 configuration is there right now don't do anything just keep know that as it is and then here uh, omr sheet 204 number opening number 200 rate 4 800 accept it then next uh, we required ink alternative name black ink let's say ink in primary ink is in kg that means we required second unit uh, let's say kg kilo kilogram or kilograms you can say and here also kilograms okay and decimal places for kilograms we will find three decimal places okay. 300 kilograms uh, 1 kilo 300 grams uh, you must have visited the retailer shop for purchase if you are purchasing sugar then in, on that scale you will find 1.250 that means 250 we record <coughs> this unit in three decimal places everything is correct accept it no enter 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 and then kg 5 kg at 100 5 only 5 kg no grams just 5 and then at what uh, 100 enter 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 500 yes correct and then finally you will find capital account balance capital account this capital account and what is this this is inventory no this is not the inventory well, then what is this? this is a ledger account and ledger opening and we are now on the stock atom creation screen we don't want stock atom creation we want what my dear students ledger creation screen in master only in create uh, you will get ledger creation we are here stock atom now i want ledger therefore select go or uh, just select that ledger go to ledger button and then um, press enter button you will get ledger creation and there control v account capital account under so many groups you will find which one is most appropriate for capital capital is most appropriate some groups by name only you will find like purchase ledger group also purchase sales ledger groups also sell for capital uh, ledger groups also capital correct you will understand read the names what to record means which ledger in what group that you will understand uh, in last year sir must have covered this if not then read our notes you will get the idea this is not our part and then tds calculation and then enter 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 but recording these groups correctly is very much important no? if you make mistake here suppose if i put this capital account in indirect expenses then obviously you will get wrong profitability correct now enter and then accept 6300 6300 rupees uh, check whether this debit and credit normally you will get this correctly no need to modify capital is the liability for a business on liability side we record and all liabilities are having credit balance therefore this credit is correct accept it okay we have solved first question not huh, yes we have solved the first question correct uh, you must be bored uh, my dear students to learn something you have to do something and uh, believe me that in marathi generally we say chuka uh, kara pan pratyek navin chuk karat asal tar nakki samja ki tumhi pragati cha pathavarti ahat right and if we do not find the way then we will also find one proverb in marathi rasta sapadat nasel tar swatcha cha rasta swatas tayar kara so now we will again go back to our main screen and then there we will find what uh, the second question second question is also we have passed the entry or not i don't know okay and let me check no we haven't yet passed just we have created about the ledgers 
and inventory items now pass the first transaction entry transaction where in transaction group we'll find voucher in that voucher in which in that voucher which voucher oh, let me check whether it is working fine or not this is a mic and uh, it seems working fine the recording is going on seconds okay uh, how to pass entry uh, in tally as far as vouchers are concerned if we have vouchers like contra receipts journal purchase sale other vouchers and etc auto field change mode okay and other types of vouchers so many other types of vouchers are there you will get all other in other category correct if you want to activate that you can activate that also but right now on our screen on the right hand side part we have the basic and main vouchers these vouchers are very easy generally in manual accounting everything we write any journal entry in what that journal register but here in tally we classify journal entries into different different types of registers different different types of vouchers correct if you receive cash then receipt voucher if you pay payment voucher if interbank deposit or withdraw contra voucher purchase purchase voucher sale sales voucher correct and then fix asset purchase there you can use purchase or journal at in a tally prime what is more suitable journal is more suitable use journal general journal generally journal voucher type is not allowed to everyone this is restricted at managerial level and only managers can use uh, for a all voucher types you can use security that means you can allow only some assistant some um, uh, of your employees correct now we will do one thing let me get uh, due to phone call i have taken break now again we will resume uh, owners introduce cash of rupees 5 lakhs 37 721 uh, for this we already created ledger uh, as a business we got cash from owner for you are passing entries for the business for the business this is a cash received therefore receipt voucher type receipt voucher type you know so many options are available with mouse also you can press f6 button or f6 option directly yes you will get the receipt voucher type see here accounting voucher creation receipt that means we are now in receipt screen i will fast forward this now video correct uh, you will understand definitely uh, if not you can again watch same video introduce the cash introduce cash of rupees therefore in receipt voucher type whatever you have received write that first and then after that write whether you have received that in cash or bank now what you have received capital therefore say capital and or otherwise pass entry in your mind or on paper entry capital introduction entry a cash or bank account debit to capital here to that means you write two first credit first tally is asking you to write credit first you cannot change that too therefore write credit and then amount how much 537 721 537 721 537 721 we'll say and then correct now uh, okay and then uh, introduce additional capital owner introduce in cash okay introduce of uh, cash therefore say cash and cash is there no need to create you will get that cash automatically in tally being capital introduced we can write and on which date see on 1st april the date is correct enter accept the screen okay enter accepted the first second entry is over second question now on a second april they are saying they change the date to change the date we have f2 option second april 2.4 you, if you want to write full you can or just write two if you are in april yeah, by writing two you will get second april if you are may writing just date you will get that date in same month okay now second april uh, you have purchase goods purchase that means which voucher type as i said for purchase purchase voucher select purchase voucher type f9 option in f9 whatever tally is asking provide that so many types of purchase vouchers are there but we want this invoice mode only and uh, invoice mode if you get here atom name then that is invoice mode a bill invoice on that you will get atoms rate and then uh, that means what as like bill this is there as like invoice is there that means what this is purchase invoice type and in this they are asking us what first invoice number 
now invoice number here three you will get invoice number just copy and paste uh, i could s split the screen but no uh, you will not i think so on youtube on a small screen you will not get everything therefore just alt tab option uh, you must be having question with you therefore you will understand definitely and then this is a bill number after writing bill number what there the bill date bill date is same 2nd april and 2nd april no need to change then party name party from whom we have purchased sundaram trading company this is your party just copy the party name try to paste it or type it you cannot because that party is not there in the tally in master that is not there then they, they create that how to create you know just select that create option or alt c after selecting control uh, uh, v to paste it and then this is what if you purchase then that party we open or create in sundry creditors if you sell then that party we create in sundry debtors now this is a part of what sundry creditors because we have purchased the goods purchase kiya hai to the creditors sell to debtors you know this no need to explain in last year we were asked and uh, you are the commerce students you will definitely uh, understand whether to select creditors or debtors uh, enter enter no need to provide other details just enter enter accept and then receipt number do you know receipt number have they given here in the transaction if not given what can we do just simply accept it we don't have carrier dispatch through vehicle number and all for this transaction they have not given therefore no need to provide okay no need to waste the time in actual practice you can provide it because you know everything and then uh, there also no need to write pune but i have shown that you can write in between also and then purchase ledger purchase ledger entry uh, which ledger party ledger we already written in that transaction only which second ledger is there purchase account debit to party sorry number one na purchase correct correct purchase to party and then what that means we have related to purchase purchase ledger there that is there no that is not there then create that ledger alt c or create button purchase account purchase account as i said you will find that in purchase group only they will select that group other details no need to change yes no need to simply accept the screen with the control a and then name of item whatever you have purchased write that sundaram notebook 200 pages i think so that is there in your uh, list okay just select 200 pages if not then create if there no need to create 200 pages uh, 1010 uh, 27.50 10 27.50 change the rate uh, tell is showing that closing rate but we have purchased this with some different rate therefore that rate now here and then one more type of uh, uh, what notebook and just try to paste you will not get in the list that means that is not there then create apsara notebook what they are saying 150 pages now just uh, write fully because in apsara notebook category you will find 200 pages book 100 pages therefore type here everything or just skip escape you can skip you can delete or backspace button anything um, apsara notebook 150 pages we'll keep this in primary and we purchase or uh, this in numbers therefore number is the unit no need to change anything now and then tally is asking me quantity 2500 yes 2500 and what about the rate 20.5 20.5 write your rate huh? don't copy the student rate don't copy the student's quantity correct you will get your question in that question check how much quantity is given and what rate is given as per that you must do the accounting and then provide bill eva bill no we don't want eva bill next year this is a part of gst taxation and then anything other than this in this transaction only two stock items we purchased rate is also from sundaram bill number written date is also written everything is over no need to provide narration for purchase sale and receipt payment etc just just provide narration for uh, journal voucher type second okay. april accept now uh, all the things are correct therefore accept it accepted now after this the next transaction 
on a second april itself we sold goods second april date is correct just press sales voucher uh, key effort or select with the mouse effort uh, then here tally is asking me party name first then provide party name we have sold this to Mrs. Vedanta retailers copy and then uh, try to paste it you will not get that party then alt c create and then paste it uh, Vedanta retailers this is what related to daters we have sold no need to provide other things just accept the screen these details also we are not having accept control a control a control a and then sales ledger type uh, entry Vedanta literature to sales that means we have sales ledger sales account therefore sales account is not there then create sales account in sales ledger sales account that is not there therefore create sales account in sales account group okay this you know enter accept and the name of atom whatever you have sold 200 pages notebook this atom category is there just type 200 you are sundaram yes you and you will get sundar uh, and then how many books 910 books you have sold 910 at what rate at at 30 each at 30 each enter and then next atom apsara notebook you have also sold 150 uh, what is apsara or 150 anything anything from that name if you type tally will search shortlist the uh, that uh, list and by shortlisting short listing, you will get your desired atom and after getting just select and then press enter and then next quantity 2500 2500 at what rate they are saying at 27 rupees therefore here 27 enter 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 accept no need to this eway and then finally accept the screen now do you want to uh, send no we don't want to generate this eway bill okay. then purchase machinery is purchase machinery uh, and this transaction is possible in purchase but in tally prime uh, that extra setting allow fix asset and expenses in a purchase is not there i think so i haven't found that if you find that then just activate that setting and then here uh, pass that fix asset purchase entry that means here means in a purchase voucher type pass otherwise yes you can pass this entry in the journal voucher type i think so use journal only this is simple now you have purchased machinery and furniture purchase of machinery that means purchase of fixed assets uh, this is not your day to day inventory atom if day to day then purchase voucher if not then for a purchase journal voucher and then which account debit and credit if day to day atom then you know we give debit and credit to that atom but if asset then not the purchase uh, we say we say for that as a that uh, for that as a asset name only whatever what i want to say you purchase account debit to vedanta or purchase to sundaram in that why we have given debit to purchase because we have purchased regular day to day inventory atom if you purchased fixed asset then you cannot give debit to purchase we have to give debit to that fixed asset okay then give debit to fixed asset here tally is asking you to give debit give debit machinery machinery you will not find in the list then create machinery 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 is a part of what fixed asset therefore fixed asset inventory value effect no not it will not affect your inventory value uh, and then other details no need to provide just accept the screen now how much uh, 50,000 and then after that again one more asset second entry also you can pass new entry for furniture purchase but no need I think so in this because on 2nd April only we have purchased therefore say here furniture furniture is also not there that ledger if that ledger is not in the list then create other details no need to provide and then for uh, rupees 10,000 we have purchased furniture therefore say 10,000 rupees and then finally from whom from a limited let's say a limited but a limited is also not in the list create a limited we have purchased therefore sundry 
creditors if he sells sundry debtors 60000 on account no this is new reference if you give advance then select this method of adjustment advance if you are paying against some bill then select against reference if you are uh, purchasing new item and recording new bill in the tally then select new reference and finally on account if you don't know against what you are paying or giving money then in that case you can select on account but you know here that we are purchasing and we are passing new entry therefore new reference now bill number given no bill number yes bill number is given 32 select that bill number type there 32 and then due date we don't know credit days have they given no enter 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 accept it second april over this entry is also over then on the second samaj mein difference uh, regular day to day purchase of the inventory items and fixed asset purchase day to day purchase regular items in a purchase voucher type and then fixed asset in a journal voucher type debit and credit you give you can give you know the entry so, uh, in regular classroom i have asked some students they said for machinery also purchase account debit but for machinery no you cannot give debit to purchase you have to give debit to that fixed asset therefore machinery debit remember this uh, and then on a second april itself we deposited 2 lakhs 5000 in sbi yours is sbi and you deposited for deposit withdraw and interbank transfer we have contra voucher type select that voucher type first and then pass entry we deposited that means what uh, cash will go out cash is real if cash is going out give credit to cash and if you credit to cash obviously you have to give debit to bank bank sbi account debit to cash sbi to uh, cash to what tell is asking credit first to what to cash therefore write here cash and then on which date second april date is correct how much two lakhs fifty thousand two lakhs fifty thousand rupees yes right and then sbi try to type sbi you will not get that means that ledger is not there create sbi account SBI is what a bank therefore in bank group and then no need to provide other details enter 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 now if you know the denomination you can fill otherwise just select or uh, control a select everything narration if you want write no need actually enter accept we have deposited then check of rupees 55,000 given to A limited on 2nd April in full settlement of their dues. Now check A limited reference. Now here we have purchased 60,000 rupees goods from A limited. And here what they are saying check of rupees 55,000 given to A limited. Check of rupees 50,000 on a 2nd May given in full settlement. What is important? This is important in full settlement. Full settlement that means what? Again 60 we have given fully 55 that means a will not going to ask balance 5000 because he satisfied with full that 55000 uh, again 60 we paid only 55 by bargaining by doing bargaining yes 5000 we got the discount now where to record we paid given check given that means we paid if we pay then payment voucher type that you know therefore f5 button payment now we are in payment whom you are paying to a limited we are paying in receipt and payment uh, write first party name that a limited we are paying to a limited a limited and then how much 55000 uh, but entry you cannot say here 50 because we are settling dues of a of rupees 60 how much dues you are settling 60 correct say here 60 correct and adjust what this reference yes correct 32 number you will get if you select adjust you will get the previous bill you will understand the amount of previous bill against what you are paying you will understand 60,000 50 uh, and what in cash you are giving you are settling the bill of 60 therefore we have said they are 60 but in cash how much you are giving in cash we are giving uh, no by giving check we are settling this therefore select yours is SBI that means you must be giving SBI check select here SBI and then how much rupee check 55,000 rupee check you are giving and then if you know the instrument number you can not given therefore just enter 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 and then date date is important 2nd May now change the date 2nd May and then after that to what to here 
here also second me understood na before passing entry change the date then no need to change that date everywhere correct now once only before starting the entry change the date then you will get same date uh, in other fields also sbi uh, check rupees 55000 and then uh, again 60 55 that means discount now try to type discount you will not get discount then create discount discount ledger now uh, say indirect expenses or income if you want to make two ledgers then if discount received uh, in income and if discount given in expenses or otherwise just make one ledger uh, indirect say indirect income uh, we have received discount therefore this in income and then for a discount given if you select this then uh, negative amount you will get and finally net discount you will get either on the debit or the you will understand tell you will understand no need actually or uh, if you want you can create discount allowed and received it's your choice 5000 rupees discount correct and then cost center we don't want cost center correct therefore do one thing because every time tell you will ask you this cost center uh, f11 in f11 only uh, say i don't want cost centers here cost centers no then tally will not ask you every time that cost center filled okay option discount 5000 let's say and then on second may everything is correct just check now correct this was accepted this is also our paid t bill paid t bill you have paid that means first tell me voucher type which voucher type payment voucher type correct payment voucher type you have paid t bill either you can write t bill to cash or this is not i think so suitable if you purchase vada pav then you cannot write vada pav to cash then next on the next day if you purchase some paneer sabji paneer sabji to like that you do not record the transactions in books of accounts what is this actually paying t bill for whom for employees so this is related to staff welfare so instead of saying t bill account debit say staff welfare account debit correct okay. staff welfare uh, uh, you have paid that means payment voucher type and then staff welfare uh, st staff that is not there then create staff welfare account this is what indirect expenses say indirect expenses enter inventory it will not affect 1000 rupees and then uh, cash or bank cash on first may only first may and then say i have habit to give date later on but you give first huh? 1000 here no need actually but uh in staff welfare what if you want to specify just paid t bill this much okay to whom you know we don't know therefore only this much on first may enter accept while solving if you want to give the narration otherwise no need to give we'll under i will understand what is actually this transaction is all about then do Oh, two electricity bill not received tentative amount 500 paid by way of a check of sbi and also provision 500 made uh, we are paying as well as we are providing uh, paying payment entry electricity bill to cash this entry you know is yes. any doubt in this entry no electricity bill what is the provision uh, this year's bill or this month's bill if 500 is also this month and this is also for this month we are providing correct that means this is our related to our financial year 500 actual payment must increase your expenses provision because this is related to this year must increase your expenses while paying you have given debit to electricity while providing also give debit to electricity then what is the difference between payment and provision in the payment we give credit to cash and in the provision we give credit to payable amount electricity bill payable account credit or if you know the uh, company who is giving electricity like maharashtra state you can give credit to that company understood electricity bill account debit to cash 
for a payment paying electricity bill and provision electricity bill to electricity bill payable. Now, this uh, you can pass one entry or two entries as well. Uh, we will pass only one entry huh? or the first entry payment 500 entry in payment and then second one is in journal voucher type or otherwise uh, in the payment only say electricity bill no that is not there just copy and then I will see control V electricity bill account indirect expenses yes that is correct and then how much rupees electricity expenses electricity bill 500 paid and 500 provided that means total 1000 and then we are paying that in cash of rupees 500 and we are providing 500 that means here I'll see or check whether electricity bill payable account is there or not that is not there I know you also know therefore say control V electricity bill payable but this payable under what this is provision therefore in provision category um, important uh, that electricity bill account we opened in indirect expense and this payable we opened now we are opening in provision enter 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 accept 500 and then no need to type narration you know that much time also we don't have 31st in actual practice they write 31st 5 may and enter accept the screen okay 10th is also over now if you want break you can take huh? otherwise uh, what oh, one hour is already over then on a second may 50 omr sheets given to sp college on a second may 50 omr sheets given to sp college as a free sample advertisement you are giving this you are giving this to sp college now there are various ways normal advertisement expenses advertisement to cash in payment voucher type if you are giving free samples then you can open a create a new ledger that is what goods distributed as free sample under what under purchase or sales correct or you can give debit or credit to purchase or sales understood if you give goods as a free sample that means whatever you have purchased or there in the stock you are giving that that means same purchase uh, whatever you have purchased you are giving that therefore you can uh, give effect to purchase account advertisement that is clear advertisement account debit to what this is the question advertisement this is advertisement therefore debit expenses debit to advertisement but credit to what if you are paying credit to cash if you are giving goods then credit to purchase because same whatever you have purchased you are giving that therefore give credit to purchase your purchase will go down by giving credit to purchase or otherwise you can create a new ledger that is goods distributed as free sample in sales category sales group and give credit to that goods distributed as free samples but i think so giving credit to purchase is more simple therefore we will use that in which voucher type this is not the sale this is not the purchase okay not the received payment therefore you can pass this in journal voucher type correct uh, journal voucher type advertisement account debit uh, that is not there in the list advertisement uh, account let's say advertisement account under indirect expenses you know therefore select indirect whether inventory affected because we are giving goods inventory should affect uh, enter 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 therefore here and just say and then what you are giving you are giving omr sheets how many omr sheets quantity 50 omr sheets just say 50 you don't know the rate we are giving from the stock therefore that stock rate whatever that four tally is giving that is correct you can check in opening we are having omr sheets from that only we are giving and that opening rate is four uh, that is correct and then after that advertisement to what advertisement debit to i said purchase therefore say no need if you want to create you can create a huh? good distributed as free sample account in what sales or in uh, direct 
इनकम कैटेगरी नो नो इन सेल्स ओनली क्रिएट सॉरी ओ एम आर ओ एम आर शीट्स क्वांटिटी फिफ्टी रेट दैट टैली नो गुड्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज फ्री सैंपल बींग गुड्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज फ्री सैंपल यू प्लीज राइट आई एम नॉट राइट on date of no, forgot second uh, may second may uh, and then after that accept uh, a loan next this is also very much important transaction generally we take loan from some bank here also in 12 transaction if that loan is sanctioned just sanctioning loan is not monetary transaction but what the disbursement of loan is monetary transaction therefore taking loan you will not find just entry journal entry for taking loan you will find journal entry once we get the check of loan now here we got the check of loan from hdfc we have taken loan from hdfc uh, and how much rupees check we have got uh, loan of rupees 5000 5 lakhs against that we have got the check of 5 lakhs minus 2300 because 2300 bank deducted as a bank charges we must record that also in our books of account monetary transaction correct total 5 lakhs rupees loan therefore in a front of loan you will find 5 lakhs in a front of bank charges you will find 2300 and uh, uh, we got the check and we'll going to deposit that check in sbi therefore in a front of sbi bank uh, the net amount okay and then we have got the disbursement of loan that means we have got the check from hdfc we have got the amount na amount loan amount as a business we got this is therefore this is a receipt for us therefore in a receipt voucher type receipt voucher type from to what uh, what i said in receipt from whom you are getting write that uh, if you if you know the entry you can write if you don't know first write party from which party or from uh, which bank you are getting from hdfc you are getting therefore here hdfc hdfc but hdfc not there then create hdfc loan account hdfc loan say account hdfc loan under what under here under uh, secured loan because generally bank gives secured loans mm -hmm. enter enter other details no need to provide and then what 5 lakhs rupees 5 lakhs let's say 5 lakhs and then uh we will going to deposit that in sbi sbi therefore uh, what debit debit uh, bank you know the golden rules personal account debit what uh, is the receiver credit is the giver and all here sbi got the check therefore give debit to sbi 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 uh, we'll going to deposit but how much rupees check uh, 5 lakhs minus 2300 here only 5 lakhs minus 2300 we'll say uh, this much amount instrument name and all not given enter 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 and then remaining is what bank we'll say bank bank charges indirect expenses inventory affected no inventory should not affect normally you will get the correct choice there yes or no but uh, you read use your brain and then select appropriate option 2300 uh, date on the first may on first may enter okay then after that on a 31st may emi paid 31st i will take small break okay emi of rupees what on the 31st uh, may uh, 15000 paid via check okay emi we paid uh, then then what to do Uh, how to pass this entry we paid therefore payment voucher type okay to whom you are paying hmm? uh, this monthly installment you are paying this to hdfc bank uh, 
therefore to whom we are paying write that first hdfc loan you are paying how much you are paying to hdfc loan emi of rupees 50000 you are paying okay then in a hdfc loan against what against no uh, you are paying total 15000 correct uh, let's do one thing this is total principal amount of a loan is how much that you should write in the front of hdfc loan because in emi two parts are there 2000 principal and 13000 interest you should give 13000 debit to interest correct and 2000 debit to emi because from emi from the total loan bank will deduct only 2000 if you write full 15000 then here you will find 4 lakhs 80 5000 that means tally deducted 15 from total loan amount but in emi just you are paying 2000 for principal therefore manje principal manje basic loan sati kiti uh, only 2000 na? therefore in a front of hdfc loan you should write only 2000 correct and the balance is bank interest therefore you should say here bank interest but that bank interest is not there bank interest create that bank interest indirect expenses you know and then Uh, how much interest 13,000 rupees interest this is first EMI therefore you will find more interest and less principal towards the mat maturity you will find more uh, principal and less interest uh, here and then what via check check yours is SBI that means you must have given check of SBI जो आपकी बैंक रहेगी उसमें से ही आप चेक दे दोगे तो ये एसबीआई आपका बैंक है तो इसमें से हमने चेक दिया है तो एसबीआई सिलेक्ट हियर इंस्ट्रूमेंट नंबर एंड ऑल वी डोंट नो एंटर 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 एंड देन डेट ऑन 31st मे वी आर पेइंग डू वन थिंग फर्स्ट चेंज द डेट 31st मे 31st 5 and then say here SBI 15,000 here 31st May okay 31st May 15,000 rupees given oh check of rupees 15,000 yes this is correct principal 2000 this is correct interest also correct uh, 31st May date is also I think so okay uh, except everything is correct except the transaction then uh, due to the temporary problem of execution of next project abhi problem mein problem ho gaya hamare paas paise bahut hai magar kya ho gaya ki itne paise se kya karna hai samajh mein nahi aa raha hai party karenge kya abhi bore ho gaya to hindi beech mein ho jayega uh, uh, we'll do the investment correct na we'll invest our cash on which date instead of just keeping that idle without interest we will earn some interest uh, what intelligence uh, second may second may on a second may what had happened uh, 50000 cash balance and 6 lakhs 50000 bank balance we transferred it to sbi investment sbi fixed deposit account sbi normal saving or current you will find and then sbi fixed deposit account is yes, that you must create uh, you are paying you are transferring you are transferring cash correct and bank balance uh, okay what to do then in which voucher type you should uh, you will say if you open fd sbi fixed deposit under bank then contra otherwise if you open sbi investment under investment then the payment voucher type which one is more current correct opening fd uh, fixed deposit of sbi ledger in an investment is more appropriate therefore in a payment voucher in a payment uh, uh, what sbi fd F sbi fixed deposit account debit to cash to bank to sbi 
therefore here tally is asking what debit first sbi fixed deposit debit sbi fixed deposit only sbi we are having sbi fixed deposit we are not having therefore uh, f fd in sbi like this uh, this is i think so good uh, if you write sbi then um, in hurry uh, if you want to write sbi then you could write sbi fixed deposit you could select that therefore uh, future may aapko lagta hai ki mistake na ho to ek kaam karo aisa karo fixed deposit in sbi aisa ledger banao don't make the ledger like sbi fixed deposit fixed deposit in sbi this is more appropriate and under what investment therefore under select investment inventory it will not affect it should not affect the inventory enter 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 and then how much rupees 6 lakhs 50 plus 50 7 lakhs rupees therefore select here 7 lakhs and then what cash cash of rupees 50000 say 50000 and then after that bank from bank you are transferring from sbi you are transferring yours is sbi therefore from sbi you are transferring 6 lakhs 50000 6 lakhs 50000 rupees enter 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 on which date on 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 second may yes our date is correct second may second may everything is perfect now enter accept yes accepted then 15 transaction now accounting transactions are over now inventory transaction i think so this video could go more i think so hmm? okay uh, we could require near around two hours on a second may company received an order to deliver filing stationery to the exam department we have received the order from sp college sp college this is this is the order this is the document of sp college this is not yours document for sp college this could be the purchase order but you have got the order from sp college then therefore for you this is what sales order you required to sell goods to sp correct now sp want to purchase goods from you that means you are selling goods to sp for you this is sales order for sp this is purchase order correct this is the basic difference just by reading name don't uh, yes write the particulars of this order in the purchase order for you this is sales order therefore write the particulars of this order in a sales order voucher type of a tally therefore sales order voucher type of a tally on what on the second may received an order and due date is 31st may up to 31st may uh, sp is asking this o, these omr sheets second may uh, what you want sales order you want in your tally and this is not there on main screen of tally therefore in other voucher type f10 uh, check whether uh, sales order is there or not says not there therefore show inactive then and then check whether that is there yes this is there and then select that sales order and then uh, tally will uh, going to ask you whether you want to activate just uh, yes say we want to activate y button or just enter and then you will get the sales order voucher type if you are getting that then you are on correct path uh, what here party name uh, to whom you are giving goods uh, yours party that means for whom you want to sell omr sheets to sp college you want to sell the omr sheets then sp college account create sp college account in your books uh, that is not there you know therefore create alt c and then control v sp college account and then uh, you are you want to sell to sp therefore sundry daters and then inventory yes other things you know bill by bill and all now here inventory value uh, daters no need to affect here one second but purchase and sale for purchase and sale it need to be affected enter 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 okay you will not get that option only therefore no need to worry 
enter 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 and then what terms of payment now uh, uh, have they mentioned anything about the terms of terms of payment credit period after okay uh, specified in agreement as per the uh, what due date and no terms and condition related to uh, modes or terms of payment terms of payment 60 days after credit period that means payment you should make within 60 days mm, other reference in sp college any particular person who is responsible uh, uh, other reference uh, ceo of exam we can say if you know not given if you want to write write it because we are sp we know everything about this writing and then terms of delivery terms of delivery here as per the quantity or as per the quality specified in agreement copy and then just paste and then dispatch through have they mentioned anything about dispatch through uh, yes, shipping uh, terms got yes shipping methods dispatch through uh, we will say courier will say destination sp is in pune that you know you will get that somewhere from here yes pune you can write and then carrier name our carrier name courier name wala fedex control v then lr number do you know lr no right now while dispatching we will write that lr number right now we don't know date uh, lr date we don't know vehicle number right now we don't know just keep it sp college address pune there if you write there while creating ledger you will get directly otherwise right here but it is advisable to write address there only while creating ledger this is order order number uh, po number the purchase order number uh, what tell is asking this is sales order number tell is asking uh, sales order number will say either you can keep that company's po sp's po as your sales order number or keep that one as it is okay and then sales ledger sales ledger sales ledger sales only you know for sales sales in sales we don't have categories therefore you can select sales ledger and then what sp college want omr answer sheets sp college whether that is there yes that is there in our list therefore select due date up to up to sp want uh, up to due date is 31st may if you want this before 31st may how many sheets sp want quantity 7000 and they are ready to pay 3.5 not 4 but 3.5 they are ready 3.5 per unit okay okay enter on which date you have got the order on 2nd may this is correct due date is also correct now everything is perfect now anything other than this is read the shipping charges fedex delivery date is also written omr return 3.5 this is written a term condition written somewhere now shipping shipping is not yet written total 25500 and then here we got 20, 24500 uh, shipping is not the inventory item name of atom you cannot write this inventory atom in name of atom correct now that means above subtotal this is the ledger can we uh, write shipping here in this sales order yes you can but what below subtotal you can write above so total this is very much important student generally ask this doubt every time sir we are not getting shipping charges we have created but still we are not getting now remember my dear students you will get shipping uh, that means you will get ledgers other than inventory ledgers or inventory stock items below subtotal not the above subtotal above subtotal inventory items below subtotals other ledgers therefore one more types enter button now that subtotal will go away and you can here type the shipping but shipping ledger is not there therefore oh, you can uh, or uh, shipping 
shipping charges or if you want thoda proper karu ya shipping charges okay uh, indirect what indirect expenses or indirect expenses or income shipping charges uh, sp college is ready to pay us this shipping correct uh, therefore what this is your income actually sp is ready to pay for a transportation this is your income shipping charges under indirect income you can write okay while purchasing if you are paying now here sp is paying to you therefore this is your income indirect income inventory should not affect uh, by charges and then here uh, 1000 rupees 1000 or straight away you can write that in a transportation expenses transportation whatever you are paying uh, write that on the debit and this shipping you will find whatever you are collecting on the credit and finally net shipping or net transportation or straight away whatever is your income show that on the credit side of profit and loss what ca finally does ca actually adjusts this income with the expenses because you should show uh, net in the summary to your users of financial statements shipping charges here 1000 that is correct 25500 return the finally the total is correct and then date second may that is also correct everything is perfect and fine you can accept accept it accepted then next transaction on a second may company gave an order to ruby papers on a second may you are giving order you are giving order for what purchasing the goods that means for you this is purchase order for your business what is this this is purchase order therefore now we want purchase voucher type purchase order voucher type Uh, is it there on main no therefore in other voucher types that is not there in active buttons then show in actives in in active select purchase order and then do you want to active yes say active i want to active then purchase order uh, to whom you are giving that party name uh, date is correct now directly write party name or to whom you are giving you are giving to ruby paper limited ruby paper limited copy ruby paper whatever tell is asking just copy that from your uh, question um, assignment question and type control v you will not get that because ruby paper till now we haven't yet created then create control v ruby paper limited account and then what you want to purchase related to purchase therefore sundry creditors maintain yes and then tds other ruby paper is there address of ruby paper you can type in raipur maharashtra only i think Ma raipur where i don't know you can search out regular and other Uh, terms of payment terms of payment have they mentioned anything about the terms of payment uh, method courier subtotal taxes payment method cash card credit card or cash copy here other reference other reference yes other reference reference given mr sunil joshi copy in that company whom to ask correct no so many people so many employees are there you cannot ask to everyone what about our order uh, your reference that means you can ask related to your order to mr sunil your other reference uh, mr sunil and then after a term of delivery term of delivery uh, sub total any specific instruction related to delivery okay term of delivery we don't have then dispatch through dispatch through by courier let's say destination where do you want these goods uh, you want these goods in pune carrier name have they mentioned anything about the carrier through fedex only i think so you will know fedex then after that lr right now you cannot write lr date also you cannot write vehicle number right now you cannot here you you got the address because we have written address while creating the ledger 
enter 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 accept order number now you are giving this order and this is your order only correct now this is your therefore you can copy here order number view 58 purchase ledger 58 and then what uh, atom which atoms do you want that atom huh? stock wall atom a4 size stock atom the big video huh? you will become bored correct uh, that stock a4 size plain paper do we have a4 size a4 size not there therefore then create alt c uh, control v a4 size plan, plain paper under don't change uh, in kg unit kg bill of component no we don't want except uh, uh, do you want uh, do you <coughs> arrival date before 31st 5 you want 31st 5 quantity 250 kg 250 yeah we have already unit therefore you will directly get kg no need to provide then price 100 per kg 100 per kg 25,000 and then one more category if ink uh, ink ink okay ink uh, 90 and 40 90 uh, 31st 5 only before 31st 5 kg 90 kg and then rate 40 40 per kg okay three times here do you want uh, just check the amount 28600 28600 okay anything other than no and then taxes uh, or the discount taxes we don't have any taxes this year you will not find then discount two percent but you will get discount cash discount only if payment on or before due date okay therefore right now we cannot provide here for a discount we don't know therefore just accept and then narration in narration you can write the term cash discount only if and then uh, next person whoever is the user of purchase order will understand or accountant will understand that we must pay before due date to avail the discount on the second may uh, date is correct everything is perfect i think so uh, po and all items and amount and all therefore just accept the screen that voucher over then on a 31st 5 31st 5 first change the date 31st may okay 31st may what had happened all the goods via chalan number dc 120 by puna transport correct received in mh 14 now fedex and then which transporter through fedex we have got through puna transport Mm, and then from ruby paper against our order number po 58 our order number po 58 against that we have got goods on 31st may 31st may uh, from ruby we have got correct now company received all the goods to whom you have given the order to ruby paper that means you will get goods from ruby paper only now ruby paper terms or mode of payment terms or mode of payment 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 cash credit card or cash or terms you can write now this, this is also either that or this huh? other reference order details we already provided no need to be here correct now other thing what oh, sorry 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 uh, we have already provided no need to that means we are doing some mistake now what is this on a 31st may we received goods on a 31st may we received goods what it mean by my dear students you must pass this not in a purchase order but in a receipt note now receipt note first be in the receipt note voucher and then pass the entry and receipt note is uh, this is receipt note i want show inactive and then receipt note receipt note yes this is alt f9 first activate activate it and now other reference reference uh, dc120 dc120 on which date we have received 31st 5 that is correct from ruby paper that is also now against what against po number 58 correct and then select po number 58 no need to give other details you will get directly now see mode of payment we got other reference also we got then terms of delivery terms of delivery not specified or you can through fedex and all short though receipt number do you have a receipt number receipt number 
uh, order number receipt number is not given uh, then lr number do you have lr number no lr number is not given date uh, 31st 5 lr date no we don't have then vehicle number do you have yes we have vehicle number copy in actual practice we required to write all the things now, just to get the glimpse i have given few things to you here in the assignment enter 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 purchase and then see the magic only purchase manager is what <laughs> the clerk other are just the managers why because he has to enter everything and other uh, assistant or the managers are using the information entered by purchase manager that means for them no need to provide information they just required to select the information their work is more simple than the purchase manager just select by selecting this order of u58 we got we have got a4 size plane and then here that means no need to provide quantity details rate details you will get everything this is what then this is the best feature of erp in erp everything is linked purchase department is linked with what the uh, store department uh, this uh, delivery uh, and receipt note uh, is prepared by store that means store no need to uh, store clerk no need to provide information no need to type anything just he require to select po58 by selecting automatic everything uh, on the screen work is more simple than manager okay uh, we have received 28800 600 rupees goods yes 28600 enter 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 on 31st over only this much receipt note then due to the defect in quality kya ho gaya abhi kuch pata nahi 10 kg a4 size paper rejected and sent back to ruby paper in same vehicle we have rejected and we are sending also back again in that vehicle only therefore this is rejection out rejection out voucher uh, type rejection out you will not get in this screen now rejection out rejection out you are sending activate it and then whom you are sending uh, first tally is asking ledger name on which date you are sending uh, on the same date 31st 5 date is correct and then ledger uh which ledger uh, uh, i think so you are sending ruby paper okay ruby paper and then party also ruby paper correct now that is correct and then um, name of atom name of atom what you are sending a4 size paper a4 a4 size plain paper uh, tracking number tracking number 1 new number you can give because this is a rejection na? first time rejection is happening new number don't select that dc dc is already adjusted against the order and now quantity here 10 kg you are rejecting 100 correct uh, 100 per kg 100 per kg that is correct na yes automatically you will get the rate here from just check 100 kg that is okay and only one atom we are rejecting and then no need to type the narration because everything whatever was there in 18 transaction you will find on the screen in same vehicle and all uh, 31st accept rejection out and company received bill from ruby paper ti is yes, invoice number 12 uh, against dc 120 you have received invoice that means what invoice entry purchase entry purchase entry invoice number ti12 on which date you have received the 31st 5 only you have received 31st 5 correct uh, who have given bill ruby paper against dc120 you got the bill therefore dc120 select and then everything automatically you will get a4 size and all uh, full bill you will get uh, ti against dc120 therefore no need to provide anything that means in bill whatever uh will be the atom you will get that automatically on the screen just check the bill here bill is not given but uh, dc 120 reference is given therefore details uh, automatically uh, 
just accept hmm? you'll get and just accept it no need to change anything here on 31st five only we have got enter 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 accept okay abhi to kya hua humne order diya tha order dene ke baad humko goods mila usme se humne kuch goods ko reject kiya fir bill mila bill ka bhi entry ho gaya फिर अभी हम क्या कर रहे हैं डेबिट नोट जो रिजेक्ट किया ना तो रिजेक्ट करने के बाद वैसे ही थोड़ी दे देंगे पूरा पैसा थोड़ी दे देंगे हम जो रिजेक्ट किया है उसमें उसका पैसा हम काट ले लेंगे कैसे काटेंगे डेबिट नोट बाय पासिंग एंट्री ऑफ डेबिट नोट देन वी वांट डेबिट नोट वाउचर टाइप देन वाउचर टाइप डू वी हैव डेबिट नोट येस वी हैव डेबिट नोट जस्ट सिलेक्ट हुम यू आर गिविंग डेबिट नोट टू रूबी पार्टी रूबी हियर बिकॉज ऑफ द साइज ऑफ वीडियो आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेनिंग एवरीथिंग and then i'm not doing also time pass like regular class in between jokes and all but uh, you can take the pause huh? you can listen other videos music in between correct mm, against what against rejection number 1 here select one that rejection note number 1 and then uh, other details we don't have original invoice number you can give huh? original invoice number ti12 because we require original invoice number later on ti12 31st invoice date and then uh, bill 2 buyers bill 2 ruby uh, enter 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 and then uh, ledger uh, ledger which ledger Let's check the list related to purchase only hmm, from purchase what we have purchased na from that only we are sending it back and whatever what you are sending that you will get automatically because we have already passed rejection note entry enter we don't want to provide gst enter on 31st only accept it or this entry is also or then on once sorry page up we must pass on 1616 that other details are correct huh? other details like uh, tracking that is correct no need to provide their date automatically and here the bill original bill of 31st may that is correct enter 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 accept enter 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 first accepted and 16 uh, we paid amount to ruby paper and immediately we paid 116 we required to pay within one month i think so within one month uh, uh, in cash and we also got the because we paid immediately on 16 only you will get the cash huh? uh, discount we are paying therefore which voucher type payment voucher type the base is important the crux of transaction is important that crux will uh, tell you the voucher type first select the voucher type then you can select the date on 16 uh, on 16 then after that you can provide other details whatever asked by tally now uh, payment in payment whom you are paying that tally is asking accountant paid ruby paper say say, say ruby ruby and how much you are paying uh, you got the discount uh, against means uh, this against 26600 you are paying 26000 600 sorry 28600 against 28600 you are paying 28600 you are paying correct now uh, against uh, how much you are paying actually one second and here what they are saying accountant paid dues due amount of ruby paper now first check the due amount of ruby paper now how to check here only you can check by saying ruby because we have only one bill in our hand one due amount in our hand now here what they are saying accountant paid due amount here you will get due amount or otherwise what now display more reports in that check the ledger of account books and ledger of ruby now everything related to ruby now what had happened purchase 26000 debit note 1000 that means due finally 27600 by 27600 accountant is paying voucher and then say here ruby and then 27600 you are paying 
against and then the both references are correct just select both the references enter and then what in cash we are giving in cash say cash how much we are giving yes mentioned you got the discount as well how much uh, 27600 uh, before discount that means after discount 2% discount to calculate the discount what 27600 into 2 percent how much 552 rupees uh, then you should what right here 27000 use your calculator huh? i am using tallies minus 552 rupees mm, okay this much you are giving and then you have got the discount therefore select discount 552 this is the transaction understood payable 27600 against that we paid after discount 2% discount calculate discount you will get the net amount give that in cash uh, in cash enter enter on 1st june everything is perfect on 1st june perfect enter accept oh, oh over then next what next on the 2nd june uh company produce all goods okay produce uh, to pass this entry we require manufacturing journal and in default voucher types in, in this other default voucher types you will not find manufacturing journal therefore first create manufacturing journal what is actually exactly manufacturing journal is manufacturing journal supports you uh, to get the quantity required correct na? and then amount also correct uh, that means cost also of producing goods and uh, then 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 manufacturing journal this is the type of stock journal only therefore to create this uh, subtype of stock journal voucher type you should select in a gateway of tally create correct now why to create because automatically you should get input quantity because input quantity for one OMR sheet is given. Your target is to produce 7000 OMR sheets. No need to every time calculate. In actual practice, we love to do atomization. Now, this is a part of atomization. If you want, if the automatic quantity as well as amount of raw material which will require to produce goods, at that time you will understand whether the costing is correct or not whether the quantity is you can what uh, keep the watch on your production manager adverse uh, reports and then suitable reports if he use more than what uh, and then if costing is more why he has uh, he sold for lesser and all like that uh, analytical reports or the thinking um, is required in actual practice therefore we do the atomization by creating manufacturing journal in the tally now manufacturing journal now i am in the creation create option you want to create many voucher type this is voucher type manufacturing manufacturing journal under what this is type of stock journal only therefore stock journal uh, yes method of automatic uh, advanced no uh, numbering methods we don't want numbering method uh, effective no 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 this is important use as manufacturing journal say yes and then use additional cost track additional cost of purchase if you want right now uh, that means in that manufacturing process if you want to allocate some cost then you can allocate additional cost but right now we are not interested print jo diya hai wo kam thodi hai to extra wala extra wala kuch karne ki zarurat nahi accept it we have created a voucher type successfully now after creating voucher type again in a voucher and then then uh, but uh, here they are saying bill of material details are given therefore you should give bill of material details this this bill of material details for for what for this bill of material details for for uh, OMR sheet one OMR sheet 
therefore you must change first omr sheet uh, what i will do i will again take a break okay we are resuming back uh, bill of material details here bill of material then uh, as i said alter the inventory item stock item then omr sheets here and then bill of material say s uh, uh, here for one omr sheet let's say uh, for one sheet uh, we require a4 size pen flipper a4 size uh, we require 30 grams only therefore 0 0.030 kg and then we required ink 5 grams uh, nk let's say 0 0.005 kg that means 5 grams mm. okay and then end of list say enter 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 accept it no need to change anything other than this and then now you can pass the manufacturing journal entry in tally uh, manufacturing journal entry in this here only you will get manufacturing journal uh, where is that manufacturing journal in journal stock journal f7 and then in that manufacturing let's say you want to produce here omr the on the second june first say second june and then omr sheet uh, how, how many omr sheets how many omr sheets you required here check you have got the order 7000 we'll produce 7000 omr sheets 7000 omr sheets okay see the magic then because of giving information of bill of material we have got the quantity required to produce 7000 omr sheets enter enter no need to change anything whatever tally has given the quantity eh, proportionate quantity you will get for 7000 for one this much then for 7000 how much like this tally calculate the rate also weighted average will get here enter 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 and then core product by product if any no additional you want to track no the effective rate see 3.22 here we got effective rate and then we're going to sell at 3.5 that means still a profitable option like this you can figure out whether we are incurring loss or we are getting profit on the second june only accept it over now then on the second june company delivers goods and in dc1 you have delivered the goods deliver that means you are giving delivery note entry delivery note i think so you will get in other voucher type only delivery note uh, is there yes somewhere here delivery yes delivery note activate and then in a delivery note you are delivering goods to sp college party name sp college select sir parashuram bhav not sp uh, and then against one this note against what chalan delivery number one against sales order number that occur no. sales order this is order number one instead of typing this number we have already ran that is the number of uh, what the party but what is your number your number is one correct therefore this is correct enter number vehicle and all we don't know we are delivering have they given any information about vehicle just check uh, the order talking slowly motor vehicle no yes enter 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 and then this sales correct delivery note in sales omr ships you are sending uh, 7000 you are sending no need to change the rate because in order we got 3.50 that is correct and then shipping also 1000 you will going to get that is also correct just deliver the goods by delivery note no need to change check the date everything is perfect enter accepted then on the 1st july emi paid you know the emi entry of first first july that date you paid that means payment voucher whom emi paid to hdfc bank hd against hdfc loan hdfc now how much is principal that is important principal 1900 1000 say 900 and then interest interest uh, by bank interest now bank interest is 13100 13100 
previously that was 2 and 13 na? because here I have provided amount uh, to every different amount to different students for every student therefore you could not you cannot find decrease in interest decrease in interest and increase in principal uh, opposite case actually this should not be the scenario of real world uh, in real world you will find increase in principal and decrease in interest here mistake is there okay uh, just to change to get the different amount to different different students i have here written different amount correct <coughs> then after that on a 17 company raised sorry where is that uh, this sbi through check we are paying everything is perfect on 4 july date is also perfect enter enter accept then on 17 company raised a bill bill number two in favor of sp college that means sales sales bill you have raised the bills which bill you are selling that means you are raising you must be raising sales here also you will get the sales bill this bill you are raised you means akanksha raised bills to sp college bill number two uh, to sp sir parshuram bhav then against what against one number delivery note number one correct na? delivery challenge number one delivery note entry just we have passed you select that enter enter other details no need to select you will get automatically we have got here enter 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 shipping also this much bill we have raised just check whether we are correct or not 25500 rupees bill here also 25500 rupees bill correct enter 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 accept on the first july date is perfect date is also correct enter accept over then then advance tax we pay we paid by online transfer that means by check only by through bank only correct now advance tax we are paying paying that means payment voucher type payment voucher advance tax ad advance you will not get here then create advanced tax we are paying advanced tax is the part of what current assets or we can say loans and advances assets not the liability loans and advances assets inventory not it should not affect amount 5000 rupees you are paying to government through what sbi online you say sbi online check here you can select online e-fund transfer and ifc and other you can provide on 17 we don't have on 2nd april we are paying on the 2nd sorry 2nd july we are paying correct here sbi then again here 2nd july you can try 2nd july then 31st 7 july clear all dues by paying hdfc bank all the bill through check of hdfc bank oh ho. yours is Ah, SP cleared dues by giving check of HDFC. SP, SP could have HDFC account. We are having SBI account. That means we got the check of HDFC and we are going to deposit in our bank account, SBI. We got the check, like instead of cash, we got the check. Na? Check, kon sa bhi sakta hai. Toh, HDFC ka check mil gaya hamko aur humne wo deposit kiya SBI mein. On the same day, on 31st 7, uh, cleared SP. 31st 7 cleared we got from sir parshuram bhav how much we got uh, uh, cleared dues all all bill all bill that means full 25500 sp against 25500 s we have received first select voucher type and then sorry first select voucher type then you will get 25500 against this this correct and then we got we will going to deposit in sbi therefore here sbi uh, 31st we don't know anything except or then after that paid the diesel bill uh, 5000 31st july 31st july date 31st 7 uh, diesel bill we don't have that means we'll create transportation transportation bill account hmm? indirect expenses 
inventory it should not affect 5000 rupees 5000 and then in cash we paid in say cash 31st july except then after that on 31st july again two months interest on fd we received on 31st july we received interest uh, interest received we received interest therefore receipt we are in receipt of which type uh, we have received interest on fd 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 in sba say fd in sba two months interest of rupees 40000 40000 rupees uh, and then what uh, you will get you are deposited in sba sba will going to credit 40000 to your current or saving getting fd interest that means what credited by bank in that particular account if you deposit in sba and if you are having sbi saving account sbi will going to deposit interest in sbi saving okay cumulative fd and then original two types of fds we will find here assume that sbi you are having account in sbi therefore obviously uh, that is debited that will increase the sbi balance sbi account sbi 40000 paisa milega yani to kis account mein milega na directly bank thodi aapko cash mein de denge ye lo lo interest to cash bank mein hi milega na to bank mein milega to bank ko debit hi dena padega bank balance badhane ke liye debit bank balance ghatane ke liye credit to this is correct enter 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 uh, 31st two months interest 40000 accept then we paid insurance premium on a machinery insurance premium insurance premium account is not there we paid therefore payment voucher type on which date we paid on 117 f2 say 17 and then insurance premium not there create control v insurance premium uh, insurance premium say account uh, indirect expenses correct and how much we are paying we are paying insurance premium of rupees 12000 mm, 12000 but from 17 to uh, 31st 3 now use calculator now we are paying a full 12000 12000 no need actually for 12 months 1000 per month and then uh, 17 to 17 that means uh, april may and june three months extra advance 3000 prepaid and uh, 9000 actual insurance and therefore here in this transaction insurance payment say of this year 9000 uh, then after that buy uh, prepaid insurance prepaid insurance premium prepaid insurance premium under uh, loans and advances do you have prepaid category provision no and loans and advances loans and advances asset category this is advance only enter 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 uh, 3000 rupees advance you are giving and then uh, you are paying lic as well correct now lic that means drawing say drawing drawings drawings under what capital enter i will explain if you have any doubt particular here say right now uh, we should close this video two hours three minutes okay within 50 minutes therefore i am going fast if you have always in a comment you can post uh, your doubt i will or a telegram channel we have uh, drawings lic lic on the life of the owner that means this is a personal payment personal payment therefore drawing uh, 3000 rupees uh, 3000 rupees okay that means in all how much you are giving 12000 plus 3000 15000 uh, check the total 15000 that is correct uh, and uh, we paid insurance other asset paid generally we pay insurance through check only therefore say sbi sbi 15000 enter 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 the first july correct provide quarterly depreciation quarterly that means uh, 30 june on 30 june 30 june is not accepted in educational mode and therefore provide quarterly depreciation i must write here on 17 you can pass this entry 
one seven quarterly after quarter only immediately after uh, in license version you can pass on 30th june if license hota to me date be relevant de deta abhi constant hai to date uske hisab se dena padta hai educational mode, mode mein sub dates allowed nahi hai mm, depreciation and then depreciation non cash transaction therefore journal voucher type journal voucher type depreciation depreciation on machinery separately no need actually dls depreciation account under what indirect expenses you say indirect expenses yeah correct and then total depreciation 25% 15% do the calculation uh, machinery uh, excel will say excel Uh, machinery and then we have furniture machinery of rupees 50000 furniture of rupees 10000 rate depreciation rate 25% 15% 25 15 15 now yearly depreciation you will get 50 into 25% and then if you copy you will get the annual depreciation uh we required to provide quarterly depreciation that means this divided by 12 into 3 and then copy same thing here and then total depreciation this plus this 3500 okay total depreciation depreciation 3500 or otherwise use calculator first calculate annual depreciation divided by 12 multiplied by 3 correct na 3 month in a one quarter and you will get quarterly of a machinery do same thing for furniture you will get furniture and then you will get total and then machinery say machinery account credit machinery account credit what machinery is debit 3125 3125 3125 and then after that furniture furniture account 375 enter on the 1st july am i correct yes date due to the constraint i have passed it on 1st july you also passed on 1st july and then annual maintenance la the last entry <laughs> i have been talking from last 2 hours <coughs> annual depreciation annual depreciation entry uh, sorry annual repair and maintenance say repair and maintenance do you have repair and maintenance no create it first select the voucher type uh, you are paying uh, you are providing correct right? just you are providing you are not paying uh, provision entry non cash entry therefore in a journal voucher type uh, repair and maintenance Mm, ABC Limited, uh, indirect expenses. Yes, this is indirect expenses. And then do the calculation. Monthly charges, two thousand. Ah, uh, two thousand Excel values. No, repair and maintenance, two thousand per month. Two thousand. How many months? How many months? Three months. Correct. Now quarterly, up to June. They are saying. That means what? Ah, uh, two thousand into. Three months into into three six thousand, and then this more than five calls in a month, then five hundred per call. Now this is April call, May calls, and then June calls. More than five. This is more than five. That means one call is more. Here you must pay extra charges. Here no need to pay any extra. Here you must pay three extra calls. One plus three four extra calls. That means five hundred. Is equal to five hundred into four extra calls, two thousand rupees for extra calls, fixed to six thousand, and for extra calls two thousand. That means you must provide total six thousand plus two thousand eight thousand rupees. Eight thousand say eight thousand here. Repair and maintenance, and then provision. You can here write repair and maintenance payable, but we no party. to whom this is payable abc limited that means here you can write abc limited but abc limited ledger is not there a 
BC LTD uh, what payable this amount is payable sundry creditors or you can uh, in a provision also which one is sundry creditors is more appropriate right. regular party Eight thousand rupees, and this is new reference, new provision you are making. No need to change bill, and we don't know. And then finally, accept the screen. All the entries are over, my dear students. Then balance sheet, you will get the tallied balance sheet like this, and then profit and loss account like this. This transportation, why transportation bill negative? Five thousand where is transferred? Sorry, diesel bill. Now you can change. Okay, I saw uh, uh, transportation bill. You paid rupees five thousand. Therefore, five thousand you paid payment voucher type. Let it be intentionally. You can say that I made a mistake. Uh, why? Because you know how to alter the transaction. Like this, now you can alter the range of payment voucher type. You paid, therefore, say payment voucher type 5000. Correct 5000. Now, check everything is now perfect. Here, you should have positive. This is ledger scrutiny type, no? ledger, and then after passing all the entries uh, here, no need here, discount also okay. We got the discount from Ruby, we also got from A Limited, both are correct shipping we got from sp college therefore on the credit side and bank interest we are paying charges we are paying electricity and all okay, everything is perfect now balance sheet drawings 3000 why 3000 drawing lic yes lic and then secure loan check the emi uh, total 5000 and then we paid first in that uh, only principal deduction you will get otherwise that interest is what your expenses principal only bank will deduct from your loan to the see why loan taking is not the profitable business why you should not take the loan by taking loan uh, in a two months by paying 30 bank is deducting from your loan only 3900 don't take loan bank exploit actually by charging interest fd cfd 7 lakhs ka fd uh, sorry it either kya ho gaya fir fd uh, receipt mm, okay this entry is okay but first you must here one more entry you must pass one more entry why because in ledger scrutiny you found you have what deposited 7 lakhs by getting 40 it should increase your now two events are there in this particular transaction the first event is what the first that interest will become receivable and then after that you will get the interest now we haven't yet passed that receivable entry okay now first you must pass the receivable entry interest receivable on fd uh, or straight away here only you can type here interest received interest on fd to uh, sorry sbi bank account debit to interest on fd or this is also correct uh, this is receipt is correct first you will get interest first provide for interest uh, here what we'll do we'll pass extra entry now in balance sheet only if you are analyzing from here you can pass that entry enter uh, here you can add entry by alt a you can add the entry first uh, f7 journal voucher type interest receivable on fd and then interest received on fd 
or only one entry one entry is also possible but we have already passed receipt entry therefore one more entry one more entry what is what could be the entry uh, interest uh, receivable on fd then here tally is asking buy first buy first that means what uh, fd fixed deposit uh, 40000 and then i will explain with the help of golden rules and then interest interest on fd interest on fd this is indirect income indirect income interest on fd nominal account debit all expenses credit all gains given credit and fd by getting interest receivable correct now this amount is receivable uh, from SBI correct 